we will be starting shortly Hello everyone how are you today i hope all of you are doing great i am nikita shinde your host and host very good evening to all of you present in this session welcome to this extreme awesome event of info session and explore ml part 1 using crowdsource organized by gdsp organized by gdsc gokhale engineering society's college of engineer these events will run from 14th may to 22nd may it's a self paced event which means we will be studying at our own convenience you will get some courses get some videos and we will be following those at our own pace we will conducting some study rounds for you and at last of each session we will conduct some q and a part agenda for today's event is what is machine learning then career opportunities in machine learning why machine learning study jams are important for you then for neat tricky game which is quick draw then all time favorite kahoot quiz for you and then we are we will be explaining implementation of an idea then gives some information about crowd source and at last we will be explaining event timeline and rewards for you to continue with the event meet the speakers of today's event we have riddhi dalal and sai jadhav with us to get you started and explore ml for kahoot we have pournima mahajan and nikita jalte with us now i'll hand over to sai Thank you, Nikita. Now let us start with our basics of what exactly is ML. The machine learning field is continuously evolving and is one of the fastest growing field in technology. There is a rapid emergence of a whole new generation of data and ML. In simple words, ML can be considered as data automation, optimization, prediction, neural networks, and more. ML is all about data learning. We use it in our day-to-day -day life. also like for face detection google assistant image recognition and etc now i really think you got an insight about what exactly is ml ai ml and deep learning now let us move further to learn about ai ml and dl that is deep learning 
AI is a bigger concept to create intelligent machines that simulate human thinking, capability, and behavior. The artificial intelligence system does not require to be pre-programmed. Instead of that, they use such algorithms which can work with their own intelligence. It involves machine learning algorithms such as reinforcement learning algorithms and deep learning neural networks. AI is being used in multiple places such as Siri, Google's Alpha display. Also, now let's go back to machine learning. Machine learning is an application or subset of AI that allows machine to learn from data without being programmed explicitly. Machine learning works on algorithm which learns by its own user. Machine learning is in various places such as for spam, email spam filter, Facebook auto friend tagging suggestions, Google search algorithm, and etc. Deep learning. Deep learning is a specific type of machine learning using technique known as neural networks, which connects multiple models together to solve even more complex types of problems. Deep learning is similar to ML and which learns via examples. It's unique because it connects model to other models in layers in order to handle more complex types of data like images. Now let me hand over to Riddhi for further sessions. Thank you, Shay. So big data, algorithm, and technology. That brings us to this simplified overview of the history of machine learning. The key algorithms powering machine learning were formulated even as much as the centuries ago. They come from disciplines like statistics, linear algebra, biology, and physics. For the last decade, sufficiently large amounts of data were collected to train models but they were low quality and expensive to train. Lack of progress and prospects led to an AI winter where ML was considered a waste of time. In the last few decades, the availability of relatively cheap and fast computing power have enabled the complex calculations across large sets of data necessary to train highly accurate models. And now you can see we use ML in each and every field. This is how important ML has been in our day-to-day -day life now. Let us see about the applications of ML. We use ML everywhere when we uh, unlock our phones. How do we unlock? It uses a face recognition technology. Other things such as like a uh, virtual personal assistant, predictions while commuting, video surveillance, social media services, email spam, malware filtering, online customer support, search engine result refining, product recommendations are some of the applications of machine learning. Now, as you have seen the applications of machine learning, this vast field also has a lot of careers in it. So let us know more about it from Sai. Now we'll get to the part of career career opportunities in ML. You must all have been cleared about the idea of ML and where it is used. Now let's see the best career opportunities in ML and what kind of jobs you can get through ML. You can be a machine learning engineer, data scientist, human-centered machine learning designer, computational linguist, software developer. Now, what is ML study then? Moving further, you know that you are going to have the campaign for a few weeks, so you need to understand what is ML study dance. So it is six weeks of self-paced learning with Explore ML and Kaggle course content, with hands-on assignment, roadmap to career, also an opportunity to certify yourself. Now, why ML study dance? Through ML study dance, it will help you to upskill your knowledge in machine learning. You can be a facilitator and support your community members to encourage them peer-to-peer -peer learning. Also, from the assignment, we provide you with a theory in practice and about what you have learned throughout the session. Also, you will get digital batches for completing the courses after the end. Through the career panel, you will get a proper roadmap for machine learning. Now, let's take you to the exciting game of Withdraw by Riddhi.
So yeah, let's draw, start with the quick draw. So let me tell you, machine learning is the fun part of the technology where you can teach the system with experiences, play with it, confuse the system and know down their limitations. Let's see how the system is able to recognize simple objects without having the human logic. If you want to see this, uh, if you want to play this game, you just can go in the YouTube description and check the link given and contribute to the field of ML. So this is quick draw. It is the world's largest doodling data set. So what you have to do is to just draw a doodle the system asks for and see if it can predict it correctly. And since machine learning's accuracy is completely based on number of data available, the more the data, the more the accuracy. Let us get started and have some fun. Okay, a van. Can you draw a van? A correct one. So, uh, the data we are providing, this system stores the data, analyzes, and then, okay, it guessed correctly. See, it analyzed that it is a van based on the previous data. Just like we learn from experiences, systems also learn, learn from experiences. Okay, this is a cherry. A rainbow. So there are around 5, 15 million people uh, who have, you know, used QuickDraw and contributed to the data set. Based on this data set, uh, it concludes and predicts the data. A suitcase. Okay. Guessed correctly, a lighthouse. Okay, this looks like a lighthouse to me, but not to <laughs> the system. Okay. The food. So five of the doodles were correctly identified. One of them was not. Yeah. So these are the data uh, provided by 50 million billion of people. And these all doodles are run by real people. I'll show you in a while. Let's get back to the BPD first and discuss about something important. I know it was fun. I told you, ML and AI is always enjoyable. But what about the logic and networking used behind this? Can anyone guess what analysis does the system go through when it gets a number of inputs for a single object or a data and when it tries to predict the object? So let us see how the machine learning works. Here is a clue to how the game works. There is a large amount of data used to teach this game how to recognize the images. If you were going to describe what a carrot was to someone who had never seen one before, how I, were you going to describe it? You would try to describe with a number of things such as its color, size, pattern, how it looks like, its shape and much more till the person gets a visual image of the object in their brain. Yes, the system stores a number of data input for a single object till it can calculate its neural network. Let us see what data has been given as an input for multiple things existing in this infinitely large universe. So let us see what are these doodles. Okay, this is an ocean. Did you guess it? So yeah, you are looking to 1,26,507 ocean drawings made by real people and some of you guys. Even if you uh, you were playing with me and you got ocean, so 
so your data set uh, must have also been included in this okay let us see okay what is this it is a knee see some some of the drawings drawings you can't even figure out that it is a knee but uh this is how the machine uh, machine learning system works it uh first learns from the data you provide and then from experiences it starts learning calculating the neural network and then predicts let us see one or two more and then get back to the ppt okay this is a pain brush okay it's, it's quite recognizable okay. <laughs> what is this <laughs> a teddy bear some of them look like rats okay okay <laughs> okay let's get back so so this is the data set and even you can contribute to this large data set you have to just go to the link and play let us get back back to the ppt So you know the traditional programming, right? Uh, Rule-based programming it is. So in traditional programming, you start with a goal, write logical rules, and refine through testing until it works the way you want it. Imagine if you try to describe a carrot the way you just described using traditional programming rules, such as those on the right side of the slide this approach would get very difficult especially if you wanted to account for all of the possible ways one could draw an object it is not possible for billions of people to be so accurate for example object height should be greater than 10 what if it's less than 10 it won't be able to recognize so this is the difference between rule based and machine learning machine learning learns uh, based on experiences while rule based is just uh, rule based it just follows the rules okay, next slide please See. machine learning is an alternative approach to building software instead of programmers creating the rules a model is trained with examples rather than trying to define for the computer what a carrot is and account for all the possibilities the computer is given a lot of varying examples like you saw in the quick draw data and told this is a carrot this is a carrot and this is a carrot so it was you yes you you told the system what a carrot looks like it studied it and then now it is predicting okay so i think you are uh, you understood the uh methods used between uh behind quick draw let us go to the fun part to kahoot it's the brainstorming time so i would like to call purnima and nikita or kahoot quiz are you all ready to play kahoot yeah, I am yes. sure you all are excited. <laughs> yes, yes. So, hello everyone. Hey guys, I'm Nikita Zalte. And I'm Konima Mahajan. So, let's have some refreshment to this amazing quiz. Yes, definitely. I'm damn sure you guys are enjoying this session till now. So, we are here to bring you some fun in the form of Kahoot. And let's, I hope you guys are ready to experience this roller coaster ride. Um, you are going so, to answer some questions, and it is going to be really exciting. You also have a leaderboard here, so be in a competition now, okay? Yes, begin with you can search. Uh, Kahoot on Google or else you can scan this QR code um, yeah. and put this pin uh, which is 840 okay. 
yes process is very simple guys no need to worry and if you have any queries regarding technical issue or anything uh, you can put your doubts in comment section we are here to solve that come on guys yes Let this would be who has the basic time. knowledge of ml at least yes <laughs> We'll be having top three winners at the end. Okay? Yes, exactly. So let's not waste much time, guys. I'm repeating the pin. So pin is eight four zero five six eight one. You all guys love Kahoot, na? Jabi yes. bhi it's Kahoot time. All are like jumping, jumping in the podium. <laughs> We are also excited. Come on, come on, join fast. Yeah. So we have Raj Kalash, Siddhi Savan, Piyush Dani, Singhu Aditya. Some of uh, some of the names are quite familiar now. Advait <laughs> Shukla, Bhakti Sundar, Ne Kalyani, Kalyan, Priya Gupta. Some of the players. Okay. Let's see how interested our players. Hey, come on, join fast. तुम्हारे <laughs> yes yes so come on we will start with the kahoot now okay yeah okay first question for this kahoot machine learning is uh, what is a subset of ai one that stimulated human thinking neural network or none of the above try up guys Hi, it's a very simple question. It's too simple. Let's see. Yeah, correct answer so, is subset of AI. Right. Now we can see Let's, the scoreboard. Yeah. Yeah, Nikita Sinde. Nikita Sinde leading the our scoreboard, followed by Siddhi, Sandeep, Priya, and Tanmay. Okay. Yes. So let's see the next question, guys. So the next question is identify the kind of learning algorithm for facial identities for facial expressions. Op options are predictions, recognition patterns, recognizing anomalies, generating patterns. Come on guys. Yes so we have the answer is recognition patterns let's see the scoreboard Okay this time Siddesh Savant is leading and followed by Nikita Shinde Sandeep Maurya Priya Gupta Advait Shukla Not bad guys come on Moving to our next question uh, analysis of ml algorithm needs statistical learning theory or computational learning theory both a and b or none of the above it's so simple fast be little faster guys one yes correct answer for this uh, both a and b option now we can see our scoreboard Yes, we can see us scoreboard. So this are leading our scoreboard. Yes. So the next question is examples of ML in our day-to-day -day life are face detection, Google Assistant, image recognition, or all of the above. Be quick, guys, if you want to lead the scoreboard. I know this answer. Should I? No, I won't tell you. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, the answer is all of the above. Let's see the scoreboard. 
Yeah. Yeah. Again, Siddhar Savant is leading with the points 3,243. And yes, followed and by Sandeep Kriya. Four correct answers. Great, Siddhar. Yeah. Yes. Last question for this Kahoot. Which method is used for classifying an object? An object in a photo. Object in a photo. A rule based machine learning. Both A and B options and none of the above. Again, easy one. Yes. Correct answer for this machine learning. Now we can see our podium, okay? Oh my god, I'm excited to see the winners. Third position, then my second, uh, Sandeep Sand- Sand- Morya. Sand- 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 and the first Sand- one is Siddhar Savan. Savan. Okay. And runner up, Arash. Who was it? And I missed Raj. one. Raj. Okay. Yes. Congratulations to everyone. Okay, great dance. Yeah, definitely. Congrats. Um, this was great. Our players are really enthusiastic. We are glad to be host you all. Now, uh, the part will be driven by Riddhi. Yeah, it will be fun, guys. Stay tuned. Thank you, Purnima and Nikita. It was really fun. Kahoot is always fun and you know it gives some exercise to your sleeping brain, I guess. <laughs> okay. Idea to uh, let us start. Idea to implementation. While machine learning offers powerful new opportunities, implementing a machine learning system can be more complex than a traditional software. This is primarily because a machine learning system is only as good as the data it is trained on. In this section, I will provide an overview of the process as well as the important considerations. Let us see the process of machine learning. Machine learning begins with the needs of your user and business. With this in mind, you define an objective so you know how to proceed. Examples could include predict which friend's user is likely to share a photo with. You must have observed in your Instagram whenever you want to share a post, always the recommended ones are shown. The one you share with, uh, the one you share your memes with every day, your meme partner. So yeah, that is machine learning. Suggest the user should eat in a new city based on the restaurants they have visited in the past. These goals should articulate success metrics as well. Machine learning models learn from examples. So it is essential to find a large existing source of data that is relevant to your problems. Experts say collecting, cleaning, exploring, and other data processes tend to be the longest but most critical part of the process. The arrow pointing back from prediction to data shows the iterative nature of ML, you will need to refine your model and perhaps your data collection and processing based on the feedback until it is achieving the results you are looking for. <clears throat> so suppose uh, you have a business idea and you really want to make it a success. You found out it is an ML problem. What is the first thing you will do? Collect data for reference. Collect data because Data is everything in machine learning. Collect data for modeling and training of the system. You can get the data from number of sources such as databases, log files, web pages, other ML sources. More the data, more the accuracy. And as per the human requirement, we always need accuracy. So suppose if we put our input as a tiger, the system will now know after studying a number of data uh, the features of a tiger, uh, the way we classify and label it. For example, its features are the color, color, yellow color, its pattern, black strips on yellow color. It looks like a cat, whisk like cat. So you classify the data object into labels. 
Then comes modeling. Classify the data and other predicting models. Modeling is the sequence of execution, basically. Training. Next part is the training part. Multiple data inputs are given and the accuracy is checked from the input uh, from the output given. Also, uh, the more the data provided, training gets better and the more accurate your system gets better. And yeah, so let's go to the next slide. Uh, we have crowdsource and it is a very interesting concept. Let us know more about it from Saizada. Crowdsource is a fun, easy way for you to use your own abilities and to contribute to the building blocks of artificial intelligence. This helps us to make the Google product that you love even better for your language. Also for your reason and culture. Answers from you and millions of others around the world are used in machine learning based products and making them work well for the diversity of the global population. Crowdsource asks short, simple questions relevant to your language. You use such services like Google Translate, Google Maps, and Google Search. The last activity is driven to the machine learning algorithm and it is defined in micro as it is Okay, so our face, uh, our friend was facing some issue. Uh, so I'll tell you about crowdsource. Crowdsource is uh, something launched by Google right now. Some uh, an app uh, for which we can uh, contribute to the ML field. Crowdsource is a fun and easy way for you to use your own abilities to contribute to the building blocks of artificial intelligence. This helps us make the Google products that you love even better for your language, region and culture. Answers from you and millions of others around the world are used in machine learning based products, making them work well for the diversity of the global population. Crowdsource asks short, simple questions relevant to your language or community. Your answers will help the uh, help improve the quality of Google services that millions of people like you use. Services like Google Translate, Google Maps, and Google Search. The tasks or activity is driven through the machine learning algorithm, and it is defined in micro tasks. As it takes only a few seconds for completing, Google's crowdsourcing activity includes seven major tasks which are translating, translation, validating, maps, translation, validating, sentiment, evaluating, handwriting, recognizing, image, transcribing, and landmarking. So, uh, you have to download this app. Next slide, please. So, you have to download this app only with the invite link we have provided and it is in the description box. You can just uh, click the link from the description box and add this crowdsource code only. Uh, we are tracking your, uh, we are tracking your progress, okay? The crowdsource app. So, uh, and also we will be giving rewards to the students who download and contribute through the special link for crowdsource, okay? So this is an, necessary task you should do um, also smart camera task so uh, after downloading this crowdsource app 
you have to just uh, open the smart camera task and point your camera to any objects around you it can be anything for example a bottle book it can be anything for example a bottle book pen keys etc and uh, we have to see whether the camera recognizes the object you are pointing to or not also you have to provide some labels uh, which describe the object for example if it is a pen you have to label it as a pen after uh, submitting or uploading the image also we have shared a google form in which you have to update this uh, the screenshot or the image you are uploading here and some basic questions regarding that you have to answer them and it is going to be uh, it is going to be uh, taken as the first task uh, we have provided you okay so please complete this without fail so i hope you enjoyed the session let us know about the events timeline and everything from nikita Nikita Shinde. Thank you, Riddhi. Are you enjoying the session? I know it was fun. Now we are going to events timeline. Curriculum consists of two tracks: beginner and intermediate. Beginner consists intro to ML and explore ML. Intermediate consists ML extended and Kaggle courses. Today is our first session and starting to ML study jams. where information of the session and introduction to machine learning with crowdsource has been discussed in our second event which is expert ml part 2 you will be introduced with the neural networks and hands on sessions will be explained along with the tasks which are to be completed by the students in our third event which is introduction ml with kaggle one which we are going to deep dive in ml and learn with technical labs and tutorials with kaggle In our fourth event, which is Kaggle Two with Pandas, where you will be taught about the data managing and sorting, and as well as applications with hands-on exercises along with fun activities. Assessment for the event is completing given tasks on time. Next slide. We are going to take sessional weekly tasks. some kaggle courses along with the labs and tutorials and as usual our favorite kahoot quizzes and much more rewards for you those participants who are download and contribute to the special link for crowdsource are awarded by some digital badges and everyone who finishes kaggle courses will receive a completion certificate stay tuned guys and now it's a follow up time we will be sharing some study resources on our social media handles all the links are provided in description box go and check connect with us guys next event is going to take you at another level next event is all about exploring ml and knowing all about ml exploring ml part 2 is going to be on 16th may so don't forget to join in we will waiting for you guys moving ahead for our q and a session guys if you have any question please let us know in the comment section feel free to ask guys um If you have any questions regarding the session, you can feel free to ask, guys. Yes, yeah. comment your questions yeah. in the chat box, and we are here to read those and answer those. Anything about the event timeline, session rewards, anything? Also, fill this form shared in the chat box. 
asap yes. the second form yes 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 have you all filled the form if not hurry up and also uh, we are waiting for your questions guys we are here to answer your question guys hurry up and a surprise the rewards will be revealed at the end of the session okay so keep connected for what task are we going to get rewards and what will be the rewards okay uh, rewards will be revealed at the end what task we are going to have is uh, we are going to have kaggle courses and based on kaggle courses we are going to have number of tutorials labs and uh, assessments so keep connected with us we are going to share the resources uh, on our social media handles so just go and follow them how many levels we have to achieve in the classes yes. uh, there are no levels as such keep contributing we will check your progress towards the end it is a contribution to the ml field as well as google so you can help the ml field the system how to complete the task one in crowdsource okay uh, when you download when you download this app there uh, there you will see a number of tasks and one of the task is smart camera so you have to just click on the tab and then uh, click a picture uh, the guidelines are uh, provided there itself you can check if you have any uh, questions regarding it after after trying you can just ping us anytime on uh, any of our social media handles Yes. Uh, institute name. Just select mm. Gokhale Education Society, Arasapet College of Engineering. Management studies. Yes. Can I confirm? I didn't get your question. can you please elaborate mm -hmm. okay uh, just uh, select on the institute uh, just select the institute name as gokhale education society rs support and you will get confirmed Welcome, Piyush. Um, uh, keep joining and keep attending our sessions. Thank you. Thanks to you Thank for joining. We also have a next session on 16th, so don't forget to join us. We are going to learn about the neural networks and there are some hands-on and also some fun art we have. Yes, I can't wait for it. So you should not. <laughs> yes. Um, mm. Any more any questions? More? Yes. Okay, guys, what a session it was. 
Thank you for joining in today. I really appreciate your presence. And don't forget to join us in our next session as well. Until then, good evening and thank you so much. Thank you.